What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mysore. So to pick up where we left off, uh, we have been declared uh, war on by France and the United Provinces. That's resulted in us attacking uh, Ceylon. And this force, once they have replenished, will be going to the Americas to try and expand our colonial empire. Elsewhere, we have made peace with both our Indian uh, compatriots on the continent. And that will hopefully allow us to build up our forces to, to a sufficient degree to be ready to at least take on the Marathi Confederacy first. Then we create a nice front line and then prepare for operations against the Mughal Empire. So right now we do have a small fleet. Actually, it's, oh no, it's not fully repaired yet. I don't think I can do any more repairs yet. Nope. Obviously we do have this priest here in Ceylon, which needs to be... Well, I need to destroy the craft workshop, which is unfortunate to replace it with a, um, a madrasa. Because I don't really want to start assassinating people to yet, because I'm currently relying on my diplomatic suave to try and gain some friends and to try and prevent en enemies. And as soon as you start assassinating people, everyone doesn't like you. Um, yeah, I'm hoping I can build a madrasa here to offset the impact of this priest, because they really don't like us. They don't like us one bit, so we probably can't immediately advance or send this party across to the New World for a few turns yet, because I at least want to upgrade my government building and my um, dancing school to try and add a little bit of extra happiness to the territory before I leave. But let's hit end turn, because right now there's nothing else really for us to do. Let's hit space. I mean, it's only a matter of time before Britain sends an army to attack us, even though we are trading with them. And by all accounts, we're quite friendly. But that's chiefly because the AI does not like human players. No sorry. So we're at war with France and we're at war with the Dutch. So my main target following um, capturing Ceylon will be to attack Guyana. Because those two territories are very, very valuable. Ooh. I do not want to give you square formation. Maratha Confederacy. I don't want to give you military access because I don't want you to have an excuse to wander my land. If you want to attack the, Mur the Mughal Empire, you do it on your own borders, not mine. But yeah, Guyana would be a useful thing to capture as well as knocking out some of the pirate islands and some of the French islands in the Caribbean. So Candy, upgrade you to a madrasa. Preemptively recruit a sloop to occupy the port. May even want two. Ooh, that's all loads of our income. Actually, so maybe just one for now. I want to keep upgrading my economy. And basic roads is a good cheap way of doing that. As is repairing some of these farms that were destroyed by the enemy. And upgrading, can't upgrade you. So you men advance up towards Goa. But chiefly I need to, or well, what I really need to do is start to upgrade my plantations to get more produce to market. One more turn till we get the ring bayonets, then I'll probably go on to empiricism so I can upgrade my university. Or upgrade my college to a university. In terms of agents, new ministers. No standouts, plus one management to treasury, plus one management, so you'd be... Five star treasury, not as good as my guy. He does have some extra challenges. <coughs> but there's nothing um, that particularly stands out. Sorry about that, couldn't get to the microphone in time. Four stars, plus one treasury, plus one management, plus one navy, plus one army. So you're plus five navy. We've got a guy that's plus five army, so if I move... You up to, first of all, actually, let's just check. Plus one navy. Hmm, you're also good for the navy, but you've also got plus one happiness lower classes, which is useful. So let's again swap out everybody. And end on this guy. Five stars. And he's also got the jughead trait, which means it helps my the lower classes be less grumpy. So in terms of my policies, we have knocked them down to try and spur growth and development. What I'm tempted... Well, no, I want to keep it like that, actually, for now. Um, let's hit end turn. 
yeah, we're burning through turns quite quickly, which is kind of necessary because we don't have the funds to pursue too many other objectives. Poland wants an alliance, which is not going to get. Let's see. Yeah, the Marathas are still building up strength. My force in Hindustan probably would need to strike west. But I think with my income that's saved, I would probably want to build or, re or uh, upgrade my... One of my plantations, probably my spice plantation, probably produces the most valuable good compared to tea. And my, the uh, port in Eastern Scholar in Mysore, perfect. Average yield. So let's look at our trade. Oh yeah, spices are worth a lot more than tea. Average yield, me yield. Yeah, the highest we've got is average yield, so that's probably a good get. Oops. So we've researched ring bayonet. It's gone onto carbines by default, which I don't necessarily want them to do. Canister shot might actually be more useful. But I do want to go for empiricism because I don't want to get caught. I don't, don't want to get left behind. So my research goes. Good. So you've got your dancing hall upgraded. As have you. You probably all can't leave yet. Minus three. The resistance to foreign occupation is a bit of a killer, as is the constant growing Protestant population. So I really need this madrasa to do work. Can't get any more. I can't get any more uh, trade. Although, to be honest, I could probably stand to take. Take a lead element. Because most of these territories in the Americas are quite sparsely defended. So get you guys over to the Americas, start conquering. You will... Another force will sail to join you afterwards. Because yeah, this force probably isn't enough to defeat this garrison. It depends how depleted they are. So if they kick up any any mischief, this force like Darabad needs to immediately strike west. I want to keep the infrastructure low because I don't want them to make it too easy for the Marathas, for the Mughals, sorry, to transit my territory. My source still being converted. Religious unrest is still fairly high. Okay, got some good new techs, or good new traits for my agents. Plus one to zeal for converts, that's great. So he should be a bit faster at converting people. Especially as Mysore has the university in it. Getting that rid of that uh, religious unrest is that much more important because we know we're going to start stacking up um, clamour for reform in that region. So you really just don't want any reason for those territories to get upset at us. Yeah, if we can take Guyana... That will be the beginning of our empire, and also will add produce more goods for trade. <laughs> what? You want us to give you Hyderabad and Karnataka, and you will give us Kashmir, Malwa, and Ahmadnagar. So, mm, no. I give you my most valuable territories, and you will give me some not very valuable territories, and split up my empire. Ultimately, we are experiencing a very temporary peace on the Indian continent. I'm just using it as an opportunity to try and develop my economy. Ceylon. Lots of upgrades for Ceylon. So let's get a sloop. Upgrade the madrasa. That's probably all I'm going to do. Again, it's not slowed the... It's not slowed the growth of Protestantism. I may end up having to get my agent over here to try and take him out. 
But yeah, apart from that, there's not a lot I can do. I can upgrade. We can build a farmland here, which I probably want to do. Okay. It's only a matter of time before we are declared on and the, the continent is thrown back into war. And then that territory, or the army that's then sent, been sent to the Americas needs to do some work. Although, to be honest, I might use the rest of the garrison at Ceylon to bolster my front on the continent if I need to. No, no alliances. You do your own thing, Poland. I'm not interested. I'm too busy trying to create an army of Indian hordes. It looks like there's an army, Mughal army, marching towards the Maratha front. They've been repelled. I think this turn we should be in the Americas now. Which will be particularly useful. Another scholar, which is excellent news. So, the Mughals. It looks like all the territories are shrinking. wonder why. <laughs> Minus 22 because of their government. That will go to a... That will explain in a big way why they are struggling. But that's good. It means that they're not going to be developing as quickly as they could be. Fleet arrives. Good. We'll sort that out at a later point. Don't need to upgrade this madrasa yet. You have no extra towns, true towns. You've got ports that can grow, but no towns, because otherwise you would be quite well placed for a university later on. Might upgrade the School of Arts to try and more, so I can try and free up this garrison. But let's go over to the Americas. Okay, so KN is not protected. Well, not really protected. Protected by a, by a militia army. So let's march and destroy that force. Use my remaining troops to replenish. And then we can strike northwest. But these are always very, very, very good territories to take. And it's very, very useful actually that France has declared war on us. Because it means that we don't have to risk their ally network to secure these valuable territories. So my Hindu musketeer front line. There was many melee troops as could possibly be useful. Bulk up all my cavalry on the left. My gunners are going to be on this bit of high ground firing from long range. I mean, even off the bat, our Hindu musketeers could outshoot their militia. But we're not going to be relying on that. I mean, Bowman, that's an impressive range. Well, it looks impressive, but they don't outshoot infantry, that's for darn sure. But yeah, Hindu Musketeers, they're not great. They're probably fairly comparable to militia, really, I suppose. But this is why we've got some really good... some really good uh, melee units to back them up. Let's keep pressing the flank. But our battle lines have been met. Let's get my gunners to start to target the unit of militia to the rear. And then the Hindu musketeers open fire. This dervish unit needs to charge that militia unit. Archers get up onto the flank. My cavalry and my camels can push. Close range volley. Yeah, the militia didn't couldn't hold up to being outflanked so aggressively. 
get my cavalry around the flank. Once you guys are in position, you're going to wreck a bunch of bowmen. The 41st Regiment's done a fairly good job to actually standing up to the fire. Get my cavalry to pursue the troops that are routing. Make sure they break. Or make sure they're shattered, rather. Whoa! You almost ran into all those stakes. Okay, there goes the enemy centre. Send some of our troops forward, not all of them. Shattered, broken, broken. I mean, lots of these guys are. To be honest, I can probably send my camel nomads into the mix. Or they can walk towards enemy militia. They're concerned because their general has recently died. I well, they should probably keep some troops like this because they could very well still come back. There we go. Garrison militia is beginning to open fire, so charge my camels. They fire their volley. Not quite the devastating punch it needed to be. Because here come the camels! Yeah, there we go. So here comes a militia unit that's come back. More may follow them. Still more pl plenty of cavalry coming in. Much more melee attack than my Zamandari horsemen. M higher charge bonus. Lower morale though. Get some long range dervish charges going off. These guys are not going to be sticking around for very long either. And then that will be our first foothold in the American continent. Charge, eh? Obviously a unit all the way back there came back. Gonna speed up time on this one. Get my camels up front so they don't charge through my infantry and do damage. But there we go, they're not. They aren't consolidated together in one position, so they should probably fall quite quickly. Yeah, there they go. Excellent. So our first colonial holdings have been secured. We can repair this. We can repair the port. The army can replenish and advance. Minus six. Religious unrest is very high. Send a, cow, send a camel to scout. Okay, they've got a reasonable force. So let's hold Guyana. Before we go too mad, we will, might, might even look to recruit some native auxiliaries. Trade routes have been raided by the Dutch, that's okay. Hyderabad, he built the rice paddies. Good. 2200 next turn, because it's not producing any more goods for export yet, because we broke the port. And there's no gold mine here either. Okay, one more turn to regain Empiricism. Good, let's hit end turn. We're likely to get counterattacked at Paramaribo to try and destroy that isolated camel unit, but we will seek to try and withdraw back to the capital. Yeah, there we go. Withdraw. We can't leave too quickly, because otherwise we're going to start to suffer from 
religious unrest. We are going to want to try and build a madrasa and start converting these territories. Because there is no Islamic influence in the Americas at this stage. Curacao might be a good capture. Because you get a village there. And you could upgrade that into a, a madrasa to try and generate a an imam. I believe it's an imam. Yeah, apart from that, things are going pretty, pretty well. Pirates are going to start raiding our ports too anyway. Yeah. We should get a bit of income. There we go. We've got a bit of an income boost from the tr from the tax from that territory as well. It's a brig against a sloop. Let's upgrade this to a thracker's court. And let's upgrade the gold mine. Plus 1800 to region wealth, which is already quite a significant boon. The madrasa hasn't improved I think I don't, I don't I, I guess we just won't be able to beat the priest in terms of conversion okay so you've got empiricism so you can upgrade to the college then you're going to go for canister shot you are going to want Satara because Satara has an admiralty but for now Take it easy and expand gently. We are going to want Paramaribo because they've got a low yield gold mine, average yield gem pit, plus a sugar plantation. They yeah, are producing some good exports though. And we are advancing through the tech tree, although the main issue is we're not like, producing enough, as much cash as I would like to try and support my position in India, considering the amount of fighting we're going to have to do in future. There's only so much we can do about that. We might have to do the old switcheroo. The army that's currently near Goa, garrison Hyderabad, my main force, come out of Hyderabad, position towards Goa, and then declare war on the Maratha Confederacy to capture Goa and Satara, because that will be quite a valuable boost to our income. Especially if they're going to expand northward. Because the more territory they take from the, the Mughals, the more we can capture without having to, having to declare war on the Mughals, and the weaker they'll be down the line when we declare war on them. Pirates are, are building their strength, blockading my port. Classic pirates. Oh no, there we go. Good. Raid someone else. Excellent. So if you leave, they'll be very still angry. Minus three. Okay, let's leave. Leave a one bow unit back. You men advance. Cayenne itself, you can recruit a na two native warrior auxiliary units to augment our melee force. Go back to India and upgrade our school to a college. And get ready for a future military operation. Like so. We'll probably want some more reinforcements for Hyderabad. Because the, the, the Mughals may see this as an easy win. I want to see where you guys go. Or do I just attack them anyway? And force the question. I think I probably do just attack them anyway. See, they're currently green. Plus two. So how many troops? Does that, does that technically free up the entire garrison? It does. It will get better. Excellent. So let's take our 
fleet out and just do a bit of a sloop switcheroo. It's usually easier to just swap ships around like this. And then the army... Oh. I thought they would move from the ship, but at least we got a good move. We got a good range. You guys get up to Hyderabad, bolster the garrison. You guys get back in. Good. 38 hundo, next turn. That's pretty good. We've got our school being upgraded. One more turn to get canister shot, then we'll go on to military syllabus. Yeah, Britain's building its strength. We probably don't want to leave it too long before declaring on the Marathas. Ooh, the French have come out of Sally to attack us on the open field. More troops than they previously did, but we've got the cavalry advantage. Which we will use mercilessly. As well as the melee troop advantage. You men are going to advance to the east, or to the the, le the right hand side of the ruins. Dervish is going to push up the left. Hindu warriors are going to be on the right flank. I'm going to spread my cavalry out on both flanks, which I didn't do last time. Put my gun back here. General in the centre. Okay, anchor my right flank against the trees push my dervishes up push my camels up on top of the hill you guys are going to get chewed up Chewed up so bad. I don't even care about your Hessian line. They're no match to my Hindu musketeers. And my Hindu warriors. And my dervishes. It's very tempting to use my general a bit more offensively around the flanks but the problem is is my Hindu warriors my Hindu musketeers their morale isn't great so I probably want to keep my general nearby to prevent them from getting too upset let's let my dervish left flank get into position before we do too much more advancing although the enemy is redeploying Okay, let's rush the last distance. Fire it will off. Probably could stand to be a bit more aggressive than that too. Hello? Native War Auxiliary. No, let my horsemen skirmish them. Got Hindu warriors to deal with the likes of you. Charge my camels down into the action. Charge a unit of dervishes to join them. So other unit of dervishes get nearby, but don't join them yet. Focus on one melee unit at a time. On this flank, we might be able to knock out their general. Counter charge the native warriors with my Hindu warriors. You might have hatchets, but we've got swords and shields, matey boy. 
charge my dervishes down the hill to attack the 19th Regiment of Militia. Push my dervishes through the combat, let my cam camels deal with the general's bodyguard. You men cease fire. You men bayonet charge. Ooh, we've got a rout here on the flank. Bring my camels in. Interesting. That's that morale we talked about. There we go. That's their general knocked out. The enemy. Oh, enemy routing there. Chase the native warrior auxiliary. You men skirmish the enemy there. Good, they've routed on the flank. Advance my infantry. Push my camels up. Slaughter them. Charge. A whole lot of them. Delicious. You men cease fire. Get my general to chase down the 29th. And my cavalry is just going to do a real number on the entire lot of them. Make sure they try and focus on the Hessian line. They're gaining some good experience, that's for darn sure. The edge of the map's only here. We're probably going to end up chasing down this unit with all of our cavalry. But well, my general's having a bloody good go. Many, many fallen French colonial troops. There we go, my general's caught up with him. Beautiful. Trying to run off Axis. Oh, there's a lot of troops gonna get away there. That's not that's unfortunate. speed up time. Okay, the Hessian line is the thing to kill. The militia isn't really a problem. Okay, it is the last unit over here. I've not picked one cavalry unit, but that's probably going to be okay. Well, will he, if these guys can't do it, then that unit of Campbells won't do it. Because they're probably way too far away to get here quickly. Cease fire the guns, because it looks like it's a bit of friendly fire, because you've just killed one of our own Camels. My horsemen obviously have massively outpaced the Camels, and they will be what save the day. They're going to be what butchers this militia force. Yep, there they go. Good stuff. So that is the that French advance party that's just got slaughtered. Next turn we will advance, siege the city, bring forward a unit of native auxiliary troops to support us, and then we will force them to do battle against us. Pirates are on the move, which is fine for them. How quaint. The Europeans are still fighting against the trade nodes, or still clearing the trade nodes and fighting each other, which is all to the good for us. We want them to be at war with each other for as long as possible. The Ottomans are causing it to go grind to a halt again, as is tradition. Ha! 
What a surprise. War will come to them with swift wings. New Spain's on the march. Very well. So now we have to go back to our previous strategy of dumping more, as much home income as possible into troops for the front. Yep, pirates are going to pirate. That's okay. They're not long for this world either. Let's hop over to the Americas. Let's make sure we are... That's a lot of money to replenish. Put them under siege for now. Don't do anything. Let's take a unit of native troops across. Let's not build any more. Could build roads here, but I'm reluctant because I want to put... Oops, sorry. I want to put most of my income into... Okay, right. You guys aren't going to go for Hyderabad. We're going to pull out of the city. You're going to combine with this army. They're going to take Hyderabad. You are going to call up reinforcements. So when they take the city, we will siege the army, so then they'll be stuck. Could probably do with some artillery, but not too much, because you guys need to come down here. Travis, what are you? You're not very strong. Okay, to be honest, I might... Anything that takes more than one turn, don't recruit it. Because I probably want... Well, they can't go for Mysore anyway. So let's probably go for Dervish. Go for one of each of my good units. They can't go for my sword because the garrison's too strong, so I may as well take you and strike at the stri strike at the, the heart of their power in the port of Goa. That's probably the best thing to do. Destroy this force, which is already depleted. The force to the south may end up just doing some raiding, and that's okay. We can handle the raiding, we just can't handle the that large force. Well, we can handle it, but obviously we want, as we have the strength here, we may as well crush them while we can. Then we can push and take Goa. So keep our melee forces on the flank. I mean, this is this formation's working quite well. I mean, ultimately, there's no groundbreaking strategy involved. We're just encircling them. But by god, it's working. Okay, guns up on the hill. Oh, it was a dervish unit that wasn't deployed. Just go really quite wide. My guns are aiming at their guns. They got Silidar, Lancers, Bajir infantry, lots of rabble, armed peasantry. Their reliance on low cost units to bulk out their line will cost them dearly. Run my troops up, but it looks like they might be. The Lancers are charging, are they? They are charging by the looks of it. Get my pikes and my dervishes up quick. You fools. Islamic swordsmen. They are going to be incredibly upset with this turn of events. Keep my cavalry pushing around the flank. Let my camels come in and deal with these guys. You men charge the swordsmen. You men charge into them as well. Let's 
to get some dervishes over into this set of combats here. My pike are just holding the flank for now. Nope, you men pivot. Don't get involved in this combat on the flank. Camels have charged in to crush the swordsmen. Shatter the landless rabble. You men charge into the armed peasantry. Pikemen charge the dervishes. You men get out of square and attack the dervishes. Actually, you men charge. The Hindi must. No, charge the dervishes. Okay, their lances have countercharged us. Where's my camel nomads? Get in against the cavalry. Good, they've left their guns un uh, unprotected. Get my cavalry and my pike. Go get my cavalry around the flank, get my infantry into the center. Make sure my generals up close. The armed peasantry are going down. You men are doing a number on the dervishes. You men are vulnerable to the Islamic swordsmen, but I'm hoping we can knock out the dervishes quickly enough that my pikes can push across the flank, get my cavalry in to attack their cavalry there. Okay. Get these dervishes to charge the Hindu musketeers. Get my horsemen out of the mix. You men are firing at will at the general's bodyguard. Get the rest of my cavalry in. You men need to slam into that unit there. Same with the pikes. Good, the enemy cavalry are gone. You men are going to hit into the rear of the Islamic swordsmen, causing them to waver. Pikes are also in. You men charge Hindu musketeers, and I get that you're upset. You men cease fire. Cease fire, cease fire. Pursue the enemy. It's one last unit that survives. Quite experienced now. They've lost a lot of a lot of young men. Okay, we've killed the general. Don't need to chase him down anymore. Chase down that landless rabble, I suppose. Okay, you, yeah, you guys chase down Hindu musketeers, you men chase down that Bajir infantry. Just do as much damage as we possibly can. We don't want these swines to recover. You men have nearly wiped out the unit of Bajir infantry all by yourself. Mop up the rest of the first Dakili. men go after this unit. Should probably disperse them but not overly bothered. We've done a huge amount of damage to them for now. Let's not get too mad about min-maxing things a little too far. A couple more units wiped out and that will be me making me a happy bunny. Because these guys are about to rout anyway. Yeah, there they go close victory. That wasn't a close victory. We slaughtered them. 
Oh yeah. We've got 300 men remaining. You men could even attack south. Well, you won't. You can't reach them. You can go that way though. Cancel building the college because they're going to probably going to raid it. In which case, then let's ooh, let's upgrade one of these plantations. Actually, for, actually, we should probably just upgrade you guys in its place and also beef up our recruitment here at Mysore a bit more as well. Because I think that's the right call. This is their main army. We can't. We couldn't get this army into the city, but we can hold back, lose Hyderabad. It's not worth it very much. Then push out. Then, then box them in and take the city because we've destroyed their power in the west. You're going on to grenades? I don't think so. Military syllabus for you. Probably going to be... Oh, I thought the French would attack us in Guyana, but maybe not. Soon, Spain will make Portugal a non-issue. But then again, actually, it doesn't matter to us, because it was the Marathas that attacked Portugal. Otherwise, things are actually going quite well. As we push up the continent and we develop the territory further, India is incredibly wealthy, and then we will just explode like an infected cell full of viruses and just fire armies everywhere around the world. That's exactly how you play factions in India, because the continent just has so much money. Hey, they actually didn't attack us. They sent one unit to attack us. I mean, I'm going to let them try it. Yeah. Because ultimately I was accepting to lose it anyway. It's a bit unfortunate we didn't bottle up their main army. But at the same time, we can... We can deal with that pretty quick. My main focus was in the west. And we've got a lot more troops bolstering that army in the east as well. Because the troops that we've recruited in Mysore will probably head northeast. Army destroyed. And then, fine. I'll just, I'll just lay siege to it. Well, I don't really need to. Let's come back here. You guys might be a bit vulnerable. The Hindu musketeer unit. Can, you can also join them. Ultimately, you guys are going to march over here, then attack. This southernmost army. I even auto that. No, I should fight it, really. We know how auto resolve does things. Make sure they're destroyed. Push on Goa. Take Goa. Push up towards Atara. Then that army, the one force they've got that's still strong, has to make a choice east or west. Once we take Atara, we'll have a second town, uh, research, uh, school, which will almost entirely focus on economic upgrades. I mean, we know the we don't have many troops to worry about here. Do a fairly loose version of what we did last time. Ultimately, my infantry is probably enough to win the day. The reinforcements coming in are just gravy. A bit weak actually. Be ultimately what's coming in from over here? An elephant unit, some peasantry units. Nothing much to worry about, realistically.
Camel gunners. Push my dervishes up. To be honest, the bulk of my cavalry can probably deal with that reinf reinforcing army as it comes in. Yeah, they're camel gunners. They aren't uh, as good in the melee as their other cousins. So you men cease fire at will while my pikes run into position. Although they don't really want to. How odd. <coughs> now they are, so... Dervish Wars. New men fire at will. Dangerous volley at point blank range. And then charge. Artillery, keep focusing on the general's bodyguard. Push my skirmish cavalry up to try and skirmish the bejesus out of their general. We've got the 112th surrounded. Can you men hit a unit? Let's take one unit of dervishes and hit them in the rear. Our pikes have dealt with that unit and they've Shattered. The general's got his pistol out. We're currently firing an awful lot of bows at the general, seemingly with a little effect, but once we soak up his hit points, then his time will be upon him. There go the dervishes. To be honest, just make everyone get over here. Charge the camels into the armed peasantry. One unit of camel nomads that's really running away, but it's because it's the general of the depleted unit. Slaughtering the armed peasantry. I mean, that camel unit's going to take a bit of a hammering because they're against a lot of units, but there are a lot of chaff units at least. Should probably withdraw them though. Yeah, they're actually wavering from withdrawing. Can get my cavalry to focus on skirmishing other people, let my musketeers wipe out the general's bodyguard. I mean, they're going to run out of bows. Bow, uh, bow, bow, run out of arrows soon. Not run out of bows. Yeah, they're going to the general's bodyguard wavering. My pikes are going to get an order to just keep advancing towards the general to the rear. Charge my cavalry in. Charge my infantry in. I 
G-Men are going down. Aya! Many, many lost souls. Poor old arm peasantry, the only ones that are remaining. And there they go. Okay, let's speed up time, because where's my pikemen? They're going to be the ones that bring death to these camel nomads. I mean, look, you can tell they don't want to be here. They want to withdraw, but for whatever reason they aren't. Yeah, my pike runner, they're going to be tired. We're going to slow them down when they get up near the enemy, because they shouldn't take... So my artillery just completely friendly fire my own guys. Looks like it did. Oh, I thought you were going to charge me. I was going to do pike, pike wall. But we will walk towards you now, though. As one of two musketeers run past. Hello. Trouble with pike wall. It takes a bit of time to set up. Present. Charge one unit into the into them. Let the other unit stay as pike wall. Doesn't seem to be doing very much. Compared to charging in like that. Generally, this seems to work a lot more effectively. Just charge them in. They're going down. Yep, just poor old camel nomads. Pikes are just so damn useful. There they go. Hurrah! So that's the enemy strength in the west broken. We can probably advance on to Goa and demand its surrender. Ah, not yet. But yeah, so wherever you're going to go, advance you men up to Mr. Kadali. It would be unfortunate if they took Hyderabad from the uh, Marathas. It'd be a bit frustrating, but there we go. Recruit some more cavalry. Let's recruit some camel nomads in our cot. Good. Elsewhere. In the Americas, yeah, continuing to siege. We're going to spend a, the last 600 on replenishment. I'm happy just to let them siege us because they'll, they'll they'll attack us next turn anyway. Although I may as well, just, that means I may as well just attack them now. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time as we secure Guyana in the Americas from the French Empire. Cheers, everyone.